Well, look, uh, thank you very much, and it's great to be here today to discuss the 2016 Census. It's an important event which has been held every five years since 1911. The Census is a point in time snapshot of the Australian population. The data collected helps governments and private sector organisations to make informed decisions, important decisions about the nation's future. For example, if there is a growing population in a suburb, the government could use census data to help make informed decisions about building more lanes on freeways or roads in and around the area, or build train lines or more bus stops in that particular suburb. State governments can use census data if hospitals need more resources thanks to movements in population or if a school in a regional town needs to build more classrooms. And I want to make this point that as the first small business minister coming from a regional area, I, I know how important the sensor is. I was on the fly-in, fly-out uh, inquiry and I know how important it is for the census information, that data, to be used to increase hospital numbers, to increase uh, road services and all those sorts of things. Information collected, as I say, helps governments to make informed decisions about the services required by the Australian population, roads, rail, infrastructure, healthcare, housing, education and public transport services. These are, of course, just some examples of how this data is used to make informed decisions. I understand that a number of independent members of parliament and senators have held press conferences about the census today. And the Treasurer, Scott Morrison, and the Australian statistician, David Kalish, have also held press conferences today. I'm here as the Minister responsible for the Australian Bureau of Statistics, albeit only two weeks into the role. Uh, to try to help allay some of the concerns that have been raised, and I appreciate that, and to clear up some of the uh, miscommunication uh, which is being reported. The Census is the largest log logistical exercise in the country. Over 10 million households and more than 24 million people will be surveyed and counted in the 2016 Census. Traditionally, the Census has been done using paper forms and an army of volunteers and paid employees door knocking all around the country. And this year, the ABS decided to move into the 21st century. We live in a digital age uh, by allowing people to complete the census online while giving people still the option to complete a paper form should they not have access to a computer or simply do not want to do it online. This change allows the ABS to use the data more quickly. It cuts down on waste. It's more environmentally friendly and it also represents a saving to taxpayers of more than $100 million. I understand that some people have experienced some frustration with the process and have some strong views on issues such as security and privacy. Let me say that the Australian Bureau of Statistics is an independent statutory body. It's at arm's length from government. It makes decisions independently. As the new minister responsible for the ABS, I asked for a full briefing on the census, which I had last week. Now, during my meeting with the ABS, Mr Kalesh, who is the ABS statistician, as I said, and his team gave me assurances that Australia's privacy would be protected and that the data storage systems are secure. As the Treasurer noted in his press conference today, the ABS has a history of conducting the census for more than 100 years and has an unblemished record on privacy, an unblemished record. Names, addresses and data are all stored in separate systems and are protected in accordance with the Australian Government's Protective Security Policy Framework and the Information Security Manual. It is important to also mention that ABS staff, ABS staff members cannot access both data sets at the same time. As for the four-year data retention, I appreciate it's going from 18 months to now four years, this again is a decision taken by the ABS to increase the what's called the longitudinal value in the data it collects. In layman's terms, in other words, it will help them collect and access, uh, assess, assess data over a longer time. Assess data over a longer time, meaning they can draw more accurate conclusions on population flows and life expectancy, which in a, in a population which is mobile, in a workforce which is changing and which are an Australian society which is very dynamic, that is important. The government takes cyber security at paramount importance, very, very seriously. Now I said that the ABS has not had a breach of the, uh, of the census data. 
And that's why we've also invested in our cyber security strategy, that's the government, which will deliver improved cyber security for the nation through 33 new initiatives. Supported by more than $230 million in Australian government funding, directly resulting in more than 100 new jobs to boost the government's cyber security capacity and capabilities. This investment complements the $400 million over the next decade and roughly 800 specialist jobs. The government is committed to improve defence of cyber and intelligence capabilities through the 2016 Defence White Paper. Now, in the past few days, the ABS has been responding to the efficiency uh, of Australia Post. Letters went out in some areas quicker than the ABS had anticipated and this created a backlog in the call centre. It has already taken well over, well over 110,000 calls. And I appreciate that some people have been trying to get onto the number and they've been put on hold. I do appreciate that and it is frustrating. The, calls, the call number centre, uh, the, the call centre number, sorry, is 1300 214 531. Hundreds of more staff have been brought on board and that followed discussions with the ABS and with government and I spoke to, uh, I've spoken to the ABS statistician about this and he assures me that hundreds more staff and hundreds more lines have been uh, put in place to assist in the call centre and its operating hours have been extended. I should note that the paper form request is a 24-7 automated line so people should consider calling outside of business hours if the line is busy. The paper form request line is 1300 820275 or people can go online www.census.abs.gov.au. Now if people have not received their census letter by now, uh, they should not uh, contact the hotline. It will arrive in coming days or in some areas, particularly in rural and remote areas, paper forms will be distributed automatically. Approximately a million households uh, will receive these forms. Uh, penalties. This has also caused some conjecture. There's been a number of concerns raised about fines which may apply for not completing the census on the census night, which of course, as we know, is Tuesday 9 August, next Tuesday. Australians should note that there is a significant grace period until September 23, until the 23rd of September, and the government is confident fines will only be issued to those who are unwilling to participate. Uh, in 2011, uh, less than 100 fines were issued. People who want to complete the census online can do so today. Uh, more than 100,000 Australians have already completed the census, bearing in mind it's a snapshot of 9th of August, so they do it uh, with that date in, in, in mind, uh, and that's welcome news. And more than 245,000 people have requested a paper form. So if they want to complete the census online, they can do so today. Reminder letters will be sent if households have not responded to the census, and volunteers will also be door knocking to remind people to complete their census. If you're willing to participate, even if you miss the 9 August deadline, you won't receive a fine.